So, after cleaning up, so I'm gonna vacuum this out. I got a bunch of dresses stuff everywhere. But I was just kind of thinking about this and not sure where I left off last night. Basically, I got the doors on. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is start on the passenger side. That way, I've got that so close that I'll have a bunch of my measurements. I can kind of get this out super dialed in and then go finish that side based on what I got on this side, if that makes sense. So, this thing here, unfortunately, was so rusty, our plate head fell out. So, I'm gonna come back and cut a chunk of this out so I can reach in there and get the door hanging back on that. We're gonna use the red door off of that cab. Hang that door and then I'll have to run back out to the knee knocker cab and cut the B pillar out or the actually the A pillar out of that to use as the B pillar here. So that's kind of the plan for the next few minutes and then we'll get everything kind of lined up and uh, like I said I could kind of take some measurements off of that side and see kind of what I didn't do right on this side make it a little easier on that side so that's the plan let me get my saws on stuff and uh, I go out there and cut that cab up some more. So we're back here this morning. Not really sure where I left off yesterday. I was shooting and people kept stopping by, but we did get the red door on the crew cab and also got the rear door cut in half and hanging on there. So obviously we're gonna have to short, shorten this quite a bit. So we're gonna take a section out of here on both sides. But basically what I was trying to do is get the height of my door my body line's close and then I'll adjust it in and out. I think it's gonna be the easiest. I'm trying to figure out how to get these rear doors. So I know the door from here starts to roll back, which is kind of a bummer. And then from about here, it starts to roll forward. So we gotta cut this chunk of the door out, and get it to go up straight and then figure this out into our, because originally these rolled back and now we want them to go straight up and down. So about here's where that door dives in for the front. This is the front door. So what we're thinking is I need to move the door to get this gap here. Looking like that gap there. I think in order to get that door to slide forward, I'm gonna cut this section out and move this forward by pocketing this about a half to three quarters of an inch. You make a couple more measurements and then uh, pull the door off and cut that and hopefully that actually works it's fine hopefully hopefully I got that door a heck of a lot closer. Basically we got these pocketed in and moved in about a half an inch. We still have plenty of room here for our in and out. The door's more or less all the way out. And I was trying to get it in the center. We've got a closer line this way. But looking at this pillar, it looks like, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it looks like this pillar's twisted in quite a bit. And I locked it in down here, but whomever had made the back of that door jam looks like they made it from here looks pretty even and then it starts to look like it twists. You kind of see a twist in it. So I think 
we're going to have to modify this, which I knew we were probably going to cut and replace some of this, but now I think I'm going to have to try to make this twisted out, which is fine because this here, this all here, and then this inner piece here was all made after after the fact. Should have never made that. Whoever made this a crew cab did that. So, in theory, I should be able to modify that myself and it wouldn't change much. This is going to modify that for the door seal to sit up against. So I need to come out just a little bit. But if I bring that pillar in, I think it'll fix what we got going on there. Because that's like about an inch or so too far. Even though if you look at this one here, see if I can lapse. And you've got about a half inch or so. Quarter, about a half inch this way. For the door to come up and sit against that seal that would sit right here. So, if that seal's sitting there, we need to bring that door, or this pillar, out a good half inch or so, or about an inch out. So, looking at, and then I know we're not too far off because with this door shut, even though we're overlapping, we are very, very close to being straight. I put a straight edge on this body line and ran it across here, so I know both doors are sitting pretty flat. I think I got that pretty much far forward as I think I'm going to need it and then we still got to modify that B pillar however I think I want to try to put the rear door together so what we're going to do is we're going to we're pretty cut this in half basically I'm going to shorten this up I took some measurements from like here and here on our door jam so I know how wide to build this door basically what I'm going to do is take a chunk out of the middle and shorten the door and then we got to work that up there quite a bit but that's kind of what I got going on while I'm still rolling around what to do on that B pillar at least I can get move forward and get one of these doors kind of tacked together so let's see if we can cut it down and get it together Basically, I just kind of glued the door together yesterday, got in there, trying to make sure my distance good. But I noticed this whole B pillar was really kind of flopping around. I basically just had some support down in here. Not a whole lot here. So I added this, kind of built this out because our door striker is going to sit in here. Kind of pops out a little bit. So I've already had the door on and open, made sure that this would clear, you know, before it wouldn't hit inside of our door. So when the door was open, and then I went ahead and burned this in, ground it down, and then got this here tacked into this little piece here, and this little piece here don't fall out. Now I'm going to cap this off and do something here, but I'm probably going to extend this upper door hinge first. Make sure that it's, and a whole bunch of stuff in the way. Basically got this thing, you know, quite a bit more support to where I can cut the front of the back of this B pillar out and try to fix our twist. You can see that or not, it's got kind of an eyeball twist to it. So, just kind of a quick update, and that's kind of what we're doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of organize a little bit and get that cut out and try to bring that inside of that B pillar in. So, hopefully, that our door seal will ride up against there and seal the door off. So, that's the next plan. Oh yeah, remember if you like this type of stuff, give it a comment, a like, hit that subscribe button, and remember you got there to create something today, even if it sucks. Peace.